Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your six months from now. I started it already, I did it, I started it yesterday but I had so many interruptions that I, I had to stop. It was just <laughs> crazy. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus six months from now. We're going to see what happens. Um, it looked really, really good. I got out like three of these and like four cards here. and But it, there were so many interruptions that I had to stop. So I'm wondering if six months from now, you know, you may have to pause. You may, you may be going through a lot. Things are going to be changing really fast. Um, but we did have the rings, which was a ring, you know, a proposal or a marriage. And when you get a ring in this deck right here, it was a, a proposal for, or it could be a marriage. It could be an engagement or it could be of a business venture, something new. Um, you also got good fortune, which was a beetle, was the beetle, was good fortune. So something good. But I think we also had the scissors as well. So there's something that needs to be cut out of your life. But anyway, we're going to start over and see what we get. We're going to start with some of these six months from the date that you watch this. But keep in mind that free will plays a part and a lot can change in six months. So as of right now, what do we have for Sagittarius? Six months from the three cards. Dagger. Oh. oh, yay. Dagger. Fears. Worry. Tense situation. So you may be in a tense situation. And we're talking six months from now. Okay? Nobody wants to hear this shit. I understand. But you came here for a reality check, right? You didn't come here to be fed some line of bullshit. Oh, great happiness. I mean, hey. Yeah, there's a tense situation, but there's, uh, you think about the rainbow after the storm. Because that's what we just got here. Plenty of material things. So in the pot of gold, it's funny that I use that rainbow analogy, huh? So interesting. So yeah, right now I think that you're probably, or in six months from now, and maybe even right now, you're going through something very tense. It, it, and this could be happening right now, okay? It's stormy, it's raining, it feels like you're being pounded on, right? And it hurts. The dagger, you know, when the, when you, when you say if you're say like you're outside and it starts pouring really, 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 really hard, and it hurts. So we got. But once that is over, because we go from this way to this way, it looks like things get better. Great happiness and plenty of material things. So something is good. Good is coming after you know some stormy weather so let's see what we got what do we got for Sagittarius six months from now six months from now what do we got for Sagittarius six months from now guaranteed success I just saw the star the star is guaranteed success there's help when you get the star it's help okay it's help arriving um, getting to that better place anyway so the star is a blessing it's your Kafiri godmother answering your wish so what do we have for Sagittarius new purpose new purpose a wish being granted some sort of wishes being granted whatever happened was a blessing in disguise because before the star is uh the tower okay the tower comes before the star so there's obviously been a tower moment and now it's the help is arriving help to clean up this mess somebody is arriving to help you clean up something so and it's it's something that you asked for Ooh, ace of cups reversed now we're doing my old spread here. So that is in the past. Okay, that's in your past position. So that's good. 
things you're about to get some something good now you're going to get what you deserve in the past there's a lack of love there's some emotional unfulfillment or emotional shut shutdown somebody wasn't feeling loved or they weren't being loved or they weren't loving okay they weren't loving somebody else but this is a card of karma and balance and decision so something is you know and it's good but it looks oh yes it is it is good it is good so you are about to get something good but you're gonna have to put in effort you can't lose focus here okay looks like you're going to be given a golden opportunity it's something that you deserve after not being emotionally supported or taken care of or feeling unloved or whatever that's where the pain lies right so yes this is the past the past in a loveless situation whether it's at work or at home or whatever now you're about to get exactly what you deserve, which is a golden opportunity. This is karma coming around in your favor, okay? Yeah, and this is a blessing. The star is a blessing. So this loveless situation that hurt so bad or whatever it was happened for a reason because the star is a card of purpose, okay? So something has happened for a reason. This is, this is great abundance. This is a gift. So you're going to be receiving a gift. You could be receiving a payout of some sort because of this plenty of material things whatever it is you're receiving something that leads to abundance okay it's it's plenty but then you have this page of pentacles reverse which right here which is somebody that doesn't follow through somebody that is lazy somebody that isn't committed somebody that wastes money or somebody that is foolish and does something stupid so just be careful with that make sure you don't waste your money or waste this gift that you're about to be given okay you could waste it don't do it. Um, make sure you're being practical here. Oh, I'm wondering if you're dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. The Queen of Pentacles is Mother Earth, okay? She's down to earth. She's grounded. She's a hard worker. She's loyal. She's capable. She does it all. She cooks. She cleans. She works. She is stable and solid and secure. So you could be becoming this person. This person is a boss, usually. Not always. If She's she's her own boss, put it that way. She's definitely her own boss. Okay. Um, she's very stubborn. She is. She is um, very comfortable where she's at. She's loyal. Okay. So you could be becoming this. This is somebody who has value to add i mean she now look at this it's like the pentacle is in her hand so she's got something of value and that this could be you you could be getting you if you are the feminine you are taking on this energy and you are getting a golden opportunity if you are the masculine this woman is giving you the opportunity she is valuable she is solid she's a hard worker she's capable she's grounded she's down to earth she cooks she's a gardener she does it all but this page of pentacles reversed is really bothering me because this is somebody who doesn't want responsibility she expects stability okay and she wants commitment too so if you don't plan on committing to this person then you might as well keep going anyhow the magician reversed this is a somebody who is sneaky this is a trickster. This is somebody that is manipulative. This is somebody that lies. We have a liar. We have somebody that lies, but there's justice here. This is right now or when you... See, this is six months from now. So we're going to get back to that. Um, the hangman reverse. We have struggle. Obsessed with control. Not learning a lesson. Egotism. Missing an opportunity. Somebody is could miss an opportunity if you don't be truthful and honest. The magician reverse is somebody who's not truthful. Arrogant as well. We de we could have some arrogance here. <laughs> Let's get the rest of the cards. Mm. Ooh. Ten of Swords in the chariot reverse. The Ten of Swords reverse. That's heavy. Ooh, the Queen of Wands reversed. Yikes. Now, the Queen of Wands reversed. If you are the feminine, that would be you. Okay. Now, you can't force anything. And maybe this is the masculine as well. Um, fire is a masculine sign. So, anyway, um, 
we and I feel okay so this is the masculine this is the feminine if you look at it that way but you don't have to look at it that way we could go all day with just these cards but anyway um this right here is you can't force this is somebody that is forceful don't don't rush if you try to force then this person doesn't go for that okay there's no forcing we're gonna we're gonna take it slow we're gonna do this slow and steady okay this person is slow and steady this person moves fast so that's some advice that somebody needs to hear this person may think what tricks are up this person's sleeve if you move too fast so just keep that in mind um, now this person is jealous and suspicious typically we will see that in the reversed but it, she may suspect another woman if at any time just so you know okay because she may she may if you don't commit and if you don't put in effort if you don't move if you don't keep you know on par she may suspect another woman just saying um, there's definitely could be some suspicions here, but anyway, the challenge is moving forward, finding, this is in your challenge posi position, the challenge will be, um, forward movement, facing opposition, finding the willpower, finding the discipline to follow through, to, to keep going, to be honest and to communicate, okay, because, this person expects communication and to keep things balanced, to keep things, you know, going, keeping them in the flow. So anyway, I feel like in six months from now, we could have somebody that gets angry because this could be an outburst and this could be an outburst. Somebody could have an angry outburst. Um, oh my God, why? Because of some lies, the magician reversed his lies. A thief, somebody that steals, steals the and uh, steals the opportunity. If somebody tries to steal this in six months from now, they're not. They won't get away. They won't get away with it. Okay, but they won't get away. They'll get caught. Just saying, end up going to prison. So I don't know where that came up from. I don't usually talk about stealing, but if anybody is thinking about stealing, they're trying to steal money from somebody, and this could be. And I don't know where this is coming from. This just, there's like the law gets involved and they end up going, this is, this is like being locked up, being in prison, being handcuffed, taken away. So I'm not sure if somebody is going to be going to jail. That just all came to me like, I don't even know where, came out of nowhere. So somebody could end up being taken away in handcuffs. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I'm not sure if there's going to be, if somebody gets hurt really, really bad. Somebody could get hurt really bad. Anyway, we do have um, this Queen of Wands is in reverse is malicious. Okay, a queen in reverse is malicious. Don't matter what queen she is. Okay, you she's revengeful. She's vindictive. Um, she will act. This one in particular acts impulsively and and tries to force things. Throws tantrums. This one in particular will lie will lie to get her way no offense to you guys i'm just i'm just reading the card okay this person this person is very melodramatic can get very very jealous and does not like to lose control but there's it looks like there's going to be emotional something emotional is going to happen that is going to cause somebody to get very angry and have an outburst masculine or feminine i think there's going to be an angry outburst here that really it's almost like the law gets involved and the cops get called and somebody ends up going to jail so i do apologize to give that message but it does look like that could be the case for and that maybe it's the person that you're with that person may end up going to jail right now it looks like it, it could be a feminine it could be a feminine that ends up going to jail. I don't know, but that's what it looks like to me. But anyway, um, now the Ten of Swords reversed. That is, uh, I can't, that's pain, okay? That's pain. That is um, also something coming back from the dead. So there could be somebody coming back that deceived you, that lied to you, that left already, and they're coming back. And maybe that's what causes this angry outburst. It looks like you're going to have a great time six months from now. Um, I do apologize, but it's like you're, something is, is painful here. There, there's, um, things could get worse. You could be dealing with somebody that is beyond help. 
Okay, and it could be this person, maybe. And I'm not saying it's you. I don't know who it is, but you could be dealing with... It feels like there's a feminine here that is beyond help. That's what it feels like. Could be a masculine, but it feels like it's a feminine. I feel like... Um, we have somebody here that has made their, their bed and now they have to lie in it. And, and maybe this person comes rushing in uh, because, you know, they're revengeful. Okay, you could have somebody that rushes into your life in an act of revenge and you got to deal with that situation. That could certainly be the case. Um, but this is something being stopped. Something being stopped. It's going to make something really, somebody angry and upset. I think there's going to be a, a belt, uh, like an angry, angry outburst. There's death in six months. Now somebody's going to get really, really angry. It's like they're going to explode. And it's going to cause an ending. Because tens are endings. And it's going to be a painful ending. It's like the truth is going to come out. Somebody's been lying. And the truth comes out. Well, here comes the truth. The lies get exposed. And it causes... Uh, I mean, this is a disaster ahead. And there's clinging to control. Somebody that is obsessed with control here. I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces. You could be. Or a Cancer. Or a Libra. Or a Gemini. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it's like, no, you made your bed. Now lie in it. You can't come back now. Too bad. Too bad. I found somebody else. So I don't know if that is how that resonates with you. But that's what it is. It's like, no. I'm happy. I'm good. I don't, I don't, because you're happy. So I think that you're going to be dealing with a tense situation with somebody who wants to come back into your life that has already left. That relationship has already died. And you're like, no, no. And whether it's you or, or this is vice versa, I feel like it's, it's just a little too late. It is. I feel like now there's a new opportunity that has been manifested. It's been manifested. Now karma is, you know, Somebody is going to be dealing with their karma. They're going to be dealing with their poor decisions. With that magician reverse. I think that you were dealing with a master manipulator who um, is going down. This master manipulator is going down. They're not getting what they want. So whoever's been the master manipulator in your life. This person is... Uh, whatever they've been doing, it's coming to a stop. It's coming to a quick stop. A, a halt. Okay? And it feels like the law could be involved where actually I, there, there could even be some handcuffs that are put on. Um, what is this Queen of Pentacles? Now she's got the money. She's got the gold. She's got the stability. She's valuable. She's stable. She's solid. She's secure. She's la uh, loyal. Uh, she definitely got the money. Okay. She's got the money. She's got the abundance. She's got the stability. She's a lot to offer. So we do have one person here that is very stable, very stable, hard worker, makes plans, follows through, moves slow. Yeah, we got this person that is slow, does not like impulsiveness and only likes stability. Look at all these pentacles right here. It's like if you don't follow through and if you lose track, you know, you don't commit. If you don't commit, she 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 find somebody else that will. She will. Okay, because she knows her value. So the Knight of Pentacles is um, very responsible. Now we have the Nine of Wands reverse, which is uh, avoiding challenge. Angry about life. Hard feelings. We got somebody here that is, is struggling to take ownership of what they've done. Don't hate the freaking world. Change it. It's like somebody is, 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 it's almost like pouting. It's like, poor, poor me, you know, refusing. The Nine of Wands reversed is somebody that is very burdened, you know, keeps repeating the negative patterns, is burned out, has had a lot of bad luck, and, and is down on their luck. It's like, Oh, it's it's just my luck. You know, it's that kind of energy. And and very disagreeable. So we have somebody here that, that it's almost like victim mentality as well. But doesn't want to own up to their part in their own 
demise. You know, it's like, stand up. Do something about it. Change it. So anyway, we have somebody here that is, is stagnant. They're stagnant. They're not finding their discipline. They're not finding their will. They're not, they're not, they're not mastering their emotions. It's like you're letting yourself stay down. You're keeping yourself down. There's lack of self-confidence. There's lack of self-worth. There's lack of self-esteem. You know, you, if you want security, if you want stability, you're going to have to pick yourself up from rock bottom, take down your barriers, don't hate the world, and step forward. You know, go after things. Put yourself in the driver's seat. Anyhow, I feel like six months from now, you will be given a golden opportunity. Whether this is a new job, or it's a new partnership, or whatever it is, this is a gift. Okay, you are going to be given an opportunity. You can choose to throw it away. You know, you may choose to lie to yourself and say, I'm not good enough or I can't do it. Or you may choose to be lazy or you may choose to uh, think you don't have the skills. You don't have the resources. You may make excuses why you can't do it, why you can't take this opportunity. Or you can take the opportunity. <laughs> and build it you can take the opportunity and build up your security and build up your stability you can build a better future so you will be in six months from now you're going to be given a golden opportunity get prepared get prepared for it now get prepared to accept it this is going to be a change okay it's going to be a change. You might have to stop engaging with your own beliefs, your old beliefs, your old ways, people that don't serve you. You may have to let your guard down. You may have to take ownership of whatever your past. I don't know. But you're definitely going to have to get out of bed and you're going to have to get out of the place that you where you've been and you're going to have to go someplace else. This is like, no, you've got to get up. You've got to do this. You've got to find your strength. You've got to find your discipline. You've got you to gotta find your ability to create this new opportunity to, to make it grow. They're going to give it to you. What are you going to do with it? Good luck. You have an opportunity for long-term, permanent stability here. Whether you keep it or not is going to be your choice. 